friends welcome back to my channel glad to see you uh, so how are you doing we are back today uh, talking uh, again about uh, the difference between some um, British English words and some American English words words that are perfect synonyms they mean exactly the same things but they are completely different or they are spelled in a different way so um, I uh, made a little series of 3d videos this is the last one okay the third one uh, concerning this topic uh, and uh, I, I read, I saw and uh, I um, received your messages and your, your, your comments and I saw that you really appreciated that so I'm really glad I could help and I think it's fun anyway and it is also interesting to understand the varieties of, of the English language which is actually, well there are so many uh, different uh, forms and varieties it is impossible to summarize them uh, into three videos but at least let's try and make some more examples so let's talk about that uh, uh, place you got outside uh, out of your house maybe the lawn um, there are sometimes there are plants sometimes there aren't sometimes you have a garage sometimes you don't okay that place is called normally garden in a British English but it is called yard in American English they basically mean the same thing uh, garden of course well we expect to, uh, to have some grass and some flowers and some plants uh, in the yard we are not supposed to have them but anyway uh, it means the, the the place that you got okay uh, in front of your house and then again let's talk about an adjective now uh, mad mad the adjective mad in uh, this is British English in American English um, we would use words like crazy or insane okay talking about mental health but the word mad will be anyway used to mean something different if I say I'm mad at you it means I'm angry with you okay so mad in that meaning talking about mental health it's 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 a, a british word but if i use it as an adjective i can also use as, as an adjective to mean angry i can also use it in american english eventually the words concerning mental health in america should be uh crazy insane okay but not really mad then uh, um talking about canister okay so these things and we have food inside like beans for example or tuna or meat or anything else uh, so they are called tin okay tin in 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 british english tin and they are called can in american english because can is the shortened form uh, of the word canister mm? that's the, the the reason so can american english and tin it's british english it's concerned uh, material basically then another word word uh, the pronunciation is almost the same the word is very similar but the spelling is different uh, it, it concerns the, the the clothes we uh, wear when we go to bed okay and uh, uh, the spelling here is a little different i'm talking about pajamas Talking about pyjamas, um, the spelling in British English is P-Y-J-A-M-A-S while the spelling in American English is P-A-J-A-M-A-S So basically the letter that changes is the second letter which is um, Y in British English and it is um, an A in American English So pyjamas, it's pyjamas and pyjamas pronunciation is very similar and I apologize because I'm not native speaker but the spelling is definitely different then um, again talking about letters or other stuff that arrives uh, 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 the word in uh, British English is post the post of course there is the, also the word the post office so. in American we use the word mail and we use that a lot today because of emails and uh, obviously everything that uh, belong, belongs to the um, computers and the internet and stuff uh, and then another mm, uh, two uh, completely different words concerns, uh, uh, concerns sorry, trains okay trains 
Um, I'm talking uh, in Britain, British English. I'm talking about uh, I talk about a railway, okay. While in American English, I talk about a railroad. They are quite similar, okay. Both of them contain the the first part rail, but it is way in British English and road in American English. Then uh, another thing. This is quite international. This is the the, 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 the device we use to close jackets, maybe, or trousers or stuff. Uh, and it is zip in British English and zipper in American English. Zip, zipper. That's quite easy to understand. <laughs> okay. Anyway. And again, talking about that, um, well, we can say that uh, home unit uh, that we find maybe in a block of flats or um, well, similar. They're called flat, flats in British English. We can call them flat also in American English, but most of the times we call them apartments. Apartments. This is more American. Anyway, flat can be used in both British and American English, but it is more common to say uh, apartment in British, in American English, sorry. Then, again, when, when we are uh, well, looking at the number that we find uh, in the rear or the front of a car, okay, there's a plate with a number or, number or letters, and that plate is called number plate in British English and it is called license plate in uh, American English. In both cases we can just say plate and it is perfectly correct, but the, the the, 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 well, we can say the complete form should be number plate or license plate, okay? Um, then, again, um, when I go out and uh, I've got my bag with me, okay? That is a handbag in British English, but in American English it is a purse, okay? So, handbag, American English, purse, sorry. Handbag, British English, purse, American English. I can also say a pocketbook. This is another way we can uh, uh, call it in American English, but purse is more common, it's definitely more, more common. Then, talking about the verb to travel. Uh, now, um, the, the, the word is the same in British and American English, but the spelling is a little different when I um, have the ing form. I use the ink form to uh, create some tenses, or I can also use it as a noun, okay, traveling is uh, one of my hobbies or something similar. Then uh, the uh, British form, and say original form, um, is spelled with a double L, travel, double L, ink. Uh, the American form has a single L. Um, this is sort of a uh, simplification of the language, uh, it is accepted, but uh, I suggest you, if you're writing an exam, uh, especially in Europe, uh, try to write down uh, the word with the double L, because um, it's normally more uh, correct, more accepted. Then, um, again, uh, another different way to call, okay, the major roads, okay, when you can travel um, their um, highways in uh, American English and their motorways in British English. They are absolutely the same things, the only thing that changes is the first part, okay? So, both of them are ways, motorway in British English, highway in American English. And on a highway or a motorway I can travel, okay, by motorbike if I am in Britain, or motorcycle if I am in the US, okay? They obviously mean the same thing, okay? But the second part of the, of the word changes. So motorbike is British and motorcycle is um, American, obviously. Um, then again, another uh, little, uh, uh, some advice concerning spelling again, especially the double L, is with some other words like marvelous. Marvelous is uh, uh, spelled with double L in British English and with just one L in American English. But once again, 
depends okay if you're in America you can spell it with one L it's perfect but if you're writing something you're uh, I know you're doing an exam or you're in Europe try to write it down with two L's okay double L and uh, I watched uh, a film a movie well a film is definitely more uh, British it is British it can be used also in American they understand but they would say movie okay the movies movie is much more American um, same goes for the shops so the shop shop is a place where you can buy go and buy something it is a, a British English you can absolutely use that in America too but most of the times very frequently they would rather say store okay the stores it is absolutely more American probably then another little suggestion uh, about a word that is completely international and I'm talking about uh, whiskey okay so yeah, we are in a liquor store and we have a lot of whiskeys in front of us we may notice that they are spelled differently so uh, in British English whiskey doesn't have an E between the final K and Y basically the spelling is W H I S K Y. This kind of spelling exists in America as well, but most of the times we find that with an E between the final key and the final uh, in the final Y. This is obviously not compulsory, but it is something we can uh, uh, we can find more often actually, and so. Well, it's not something so important to survive abroad, but anyway, it's, it's good to know that it's not a, a mistake or a typo, but it is just another way to call it. Now, uh, I'd like to give you um, a little more advice concerning spelling. Um, actually, there are some... Uh, spelling is a major issue while talking about uh, uh, American English and British English, and there are some groups of words that actually follow the same rules and change from British English and American English. For example, the, the words um, which end up with the three uh, letters uh, O-U-R. Most of the times, or I would rather say always, uh, they um, lose, okay, they lose the U in the American version. So, example, color the spelling is obviously C-O-L-O-U-R, um, obviously. Uh, in American it is spelled C-O-L-O-R, no U. Okay, so um, this is sort of a simplification. The pronunciation is very similar as color and color. It doesn't change a lot actually but the spelling is actually different there are a lot of the words like that like that like flavor flavor okay o u r in american it is flavor final v o r no u or again um neighbor neighbor the person who lives next to me is my neighbor and in american english it is neighbor and it is just final B O R with no U. So um, O U R becomes just O R. Another uh, rule like this is uh, uh, concerns words that uh, um, end up with the three letters uh, T R E. Okay, in this case um, they change a little and uh, the final three letters become T, E, R. Okay, so R and E are basically exchanged, okay, they change places. Like for example center, center, T, R, E in British English, it becomes center. Uh, T, E, R in uh, uh, American English or again theater, theater which is a British English, again T-R-E, it becomes theater, uh, T-E-R. So they are slightly different, okay? They're anyway accepted, all right? Uh, the original version, the traditional version is the British version, so it depends where you are and what you're doing, basically, okay? And who you're talking with. Then 
thank you so very much for following me and thank you so very much for watching this last video about uh, uh, British American uh, English if you're interested in this topic just let me know and I eventually uh, prepare more videos talking about the differences between the two kinds of uh, uh, English there are so many uh, shades nuances and uh, uh, versions of the English language so we could talk forever actually <laughs> so thank you so much I hope it was useful like this video if you, if you found this uh, interesting and really thank you so very much for following and for your support see you very soon again bye